It is just 36 days until the election and ballots are already pouring into the Duval County Supervisor of Elections Office. That's after we told you Friday, you don't have to wait. Anyone can vote now by simply going to your County Supervisor of Elections Office, ask for a mail ballot in person, fill it out on the spot, and then drop it off right then and there, and thus avoid the Postal Service altogether. Apparently, many of you were listening. And as News 4 Jacks reporter Jim Pickett shows us, the surge in ballots caught the local elections office by surprise. It was a steady stream of people dropping off their ballots at this safe and secure location downtown. Naomi Summers was one of them. Well, I'm voting like this because I don't trust the mail. And I don't really trust standing in line on uh, the 3rd because they might slam the doors down, you know, shut, shut everything off on me. She's one of many. I don't trust the mail because of all the hoopla. That hoopla is keeping the staff very busy at the Duval County Supervisor of Elections Office. Never have we seen the crowds that we're seeing right now that are coming right in the first day. Last week, staff sent out a record number, more than 143,000 vote-by-mail ballots to homes in Duval County. So the process has begun within five days already. Over a thousand ballots have been returned and what they're doing here is getting them ready so they can prepare them to go through the machines so the signatures can be verified. It's the beginning process to make sure that the ballots sent in are legitimate. Part of that process is removing the secrecy sleeves surrounding the signatures which will be verified. Then they're preparing the ballots to be counted. And even today, some questionable ballots have come in, like this one, which appears to be a Georgia ballot that ended up here in Jacksonville with only the words absentee ballot. That's not even an envelope with an address on it. Right. So what will you do with that? Well, call our contact at the post office and tell her. Right. Yeah. So you've really got to be open. careful on how you mail things in. I mean, yeah, well, why would, yeah. Official absentee ballot, no address on it. Right. That's why Supervisor of Elections Mike Hogan says when voting by mail, follow the instructions and make sure you sign the envelope. He just wants to make sure your vote counts. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. And we've been asked to remind Jacksonville voters there are no ballot boxes at public libraries right now. They will be there when early voting begins on October 19th. We also want to remind you about our online voter's guide. We break down the state and local races in Northeast Florida and Southeast Georgia, from Congress to the state legislature to local school boards, plus the proposed constitutional amendments. Read what the candidates had to say about the top issues and where they stand. That's all at news4jacks.com slash voter's guide. And tomorrow night, President Trump and Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden will face each other for the first time in a debate in Cleveland. You can watch it live right here on Channel 4. We will also stream it on newsforjax.com, and it starts at 9 p.m. tomorrow.